Hey Scorpio, you're going to have to help me out with this one, but this is your reading for April of 2022. We've got Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. So I do feel as though you're kind of working towards something here. Um, the Four of Wands is about communication. So you might be learning how to communicate, how to get yourself out there again, um, how to introduce yourself to people, how to spend time with people, especially if you're an empath, really learning how to embrace your energy so that you can start to get out there again. Um, now, the problem here is we've got the devil, the devil, I have to kind of hide this for you, but we got the devil card and we also have the five of pentacles. The devil is my narcissist card. So this is telling me that this is the challenge. So you might be kind of getting yourself out there communicating with a narcissist. So please be aware of the gaslighting, uh, the love bombing, all of these things that a narcissist brings to the table. Love bombing is like the honeymoon stage, but they're asking you all these kind of questions, making you feel like they are your soulmate because they're listening to every single word that you say. And that fa that feels fantastic. But the problem is, is that it's a narcissist. So somebody that doesn't have empathy, doesn't really care about your needs, only really focus on what they want. And the five of pentacles. So you might be also hot and cold, right? Making you feel like you're the one, but then also like kind of withdrawing themselves from you. So this is, again, a game and a manipulation that they play. So just realize that this could be someone that you're dealing with. Now, the end result <laughs> is the lovers with the pentacles, with the uh, queen of pentacles. So this is what's confusing me with the end result because we don't want to get involved with the narcissist. Now, this could be that you've had narcissists in your past and now it's time for you to kind of shift and change the type of person that you're looking for. So going from bad boys to good guys um, is definitely a shift that needs to be changed if you've dealt with narcissists in the past. And this is the lover's card. The lover's card also is your connection to the divine and also your connection to yourself. So maybe the relationship that you really are looking for is the one that is connected to you, that self-love and that queen of pentacles. When you open your heart and allow love in, even if it's from yourself, you're opening your heart to the universe and allowing yourself to manifest maybe the, the relationship that you actually want with your soulmate and not a narcissist. So be aware of what you've been through. Look at who you're dealing with. Look at their actions, not their words, because their words are going to say something completely different. Believe their actions and then move forward into that relationship or through that relationship or over that relationship so that you can find the lovers, this beautiful romantic relationship, and also feel like the Queen of Pentacles where you got every single thing that you need. But let go of the narcissist first.